I tried to scream, but my head was underwater. They called me weak, like I'm not just somebody's daughter. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today I am going to show you guys how I came up with this. I don't even know what to call this look. It's just a look, y'all. It's just a look. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So I needed to do my December's. <laughs> my December boxy charm boxing. Well, unboxing look. Thing thinking my jigger. Um but I didn't get a palette in my box of charm this month, so my eye look is going to be done with my glam light cake palette. It's so cute, guys. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. So cute. Okay. So, guys, this is my box of charm box. And then, this month, in my box of charm box, I got. The Sponge by Makeup Eraser. And this is supposed to be a machine washable sponge. Um, just don't know how I feel about putting my makeup sponge in the washing machine. So I probably just wash just the regular way, but I mean, I guess that's cool. But anyway, it comes with the little things. This is how you wash it. You're supposed to put it in here. But I like this because I don't have <laughs> one of my other beauty blenders that are like this. I don't have the, uh, any ones with like little flat sides like this. So I'm excited for this. I'm excited to try this. My Elmis Superfood Glowing Primer Moisturizer. And I'm really excited about this too because y'all know I love me a good milk. <laughs> we got some Bizart. Um, this is eyeshadow base. Y'all know that I am tried and true to my clown white for my eyeshadow base, but it's in my box, so I'm gonna use it. <clears throat> Luckily for me, I'm using the Glint Light palette and <laughs> they're like super pigmented anyway because <clears throat> I don't know, like I said, it's just probably for me. So I got some Glamnetic lashes, and this is the um the liquid eyeliner. These are the back neck lashes. We're gonna stick to the eyeliner. Try that out. And then I got this face palette from Iconic London. So we'll be trying that out too. And like I said, my eye look is my eye look is gonna come from my glam light palette. <clears throat> Let's get started up for her. So anyway, y'all had already did my eyebrows out. Sorry, I had to do a TikTok. I was not going on there. Eyebrows. So anyway, um, what am I starting with? Oh yeah, my eyeshadow. Y'all got excuse me. It is New Year's Eve. It is well, it's New Year's Day now. Actually, it's not New Year's Eve. It is now. Uh, yeah, not good it's now 7.33 in the morning. I have not been asleep yet, you guys. So, y'all are going to forgive me. Have to forgive me. I'm a little bit loopy. Right now, what I'm doing is taking my clown weight and putting that on my eyeball. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Actually, what I'm doing is taking my Vise Art 
primer and putting that on my eyelid. Put it on the back of my hand first. I want to see how this goes, you guys, because like I said, you know, I am like going to lay it all the way. I mean, I'm not going to lay it. Well, I am going to lay it all the way too, but I'm trying to lay it all the way when it comes to my primer. So. Be real. Mm. These are other ones. Anyways, I'm gonna let this part fast forward. So now, once that's somewhat even, I'm just gonna go ahead and I like to take a little baby. Blender and just tap it into your skin. And make sure you have a flat surface. You know what, John? That I was thinking I was using my crown weight. I can't lie, this is. Well, we're gonna see about the color payoff, but mm, I don't know, y'all. I might have, I might have found the actual primer. I'm never gonna my crown weight. Like, forget that. <laughs> it lasts forever. It's funny because it don't be seeming like it's going to do anything. It looks clear, but it definitely gives that white payoff. I don't know how it looks. Alright, you guys. So, I'm gonna be using cake palette from Warm Light. You guys, I just have to say that I just got the um, iPhone 12 Pro, and I'm using my front camera right now to record this, and like, I cannot believe. That you guys comment and tell me if you see the difference between like my other videos and this one because I swear like it is catching my colors the lights not blinding everything out I'm in love right now you guys okay I'm sorry let me get back on track okay so <laughs> we're using the like palette like I said and once again look at the colors are they gorgeous like this off the top of my head and I'm playing this out and then we plan out my looks so my daughter she has been um doing this blue purple and gold look so let's do this this is a tributation to her a tributation what is a tributation a tribution I'm just gonna do my makeup, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't judge me. Don't judge me. Okay, so I think that I'm gonna start off with this blue raspberry. And I'm gonna apply this like under my brow. And I am leaving a little bit of space. I 
Now I am going to find my blending brush, which is somewhere in here. Somewhere. Somewhere I got one. 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 Anyway, I don't know why I'm so hyped. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm just going to blend that out. And I had meant to say that I did leave some space between my brow and, you know, where I was applying this blue shade. Um, so now, as I'm blending it out, I could blend it up closer to my brow. Just like, so it has a nice, soft, like, fading effect because you don't want to see any harsh lines. I'm going to go in with the shade Purple Frost and I'm going to be using a pencil brush. Oh my god, this is my little broken pencil brush. Um to go into my crease. There we go. is I'm going to cut my crease thing that I'm going to do is I am going to go into the shade pineapple that's the shallow and then I'm going to be putting banana on top of that and as I'm putting this on like I really I stand behind glam light like 1,000 and 1 million 10,000 freaking percent <laughs> that's not even a real number but seriously um I can definitely say that I know for a fact that if I would have used my clown light this payoff would be 
feel much better. Especially this yellow. But it is what it is. This is why I don't really reach for primers. Um, I'm gonna have to make another video like um, where I do half of my face with a primer and half of my face with my clown white which is what I normally use as my eyeshadow base and you guys will be able to see for yourself Uh, hopefully this freaking gold is going to help that out so anyway now I'm going to get my banana Okay, you guys so I don't know what happened to my footage <laughs> but um, another step that I did while I don't know if my camera cut off or what whatever during the last footage you guys I also went ahead and did a winged liner um, I will throw in there that if you watch my previous videos you will see like the way that I fix my eyeliner with my concealer so that I can make my edge really sharp but yeah so I put on a wing and then I went ahead and I decided to use different lashes than the lashes that came in my box and charm box because they were just like really, really itty bitty baby lashes. Okay, y'all, so I swapped out my box and charm lashes for, <laughs> sorry, for um, these lashes by Lash Capade. And these are in the style good form. <laughs> Good form, good form, good form. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Um, yeah. And like I said, no shade to Boxy Charm, no shade to Glam Lake because they're actually they're really freaking cute lashes. They're just I'm just so used to my long lashes that whenever I look at like more natural looking lashes or more everyday lashes, I'm just like so weird. It's so weird. 25mm ruined my life. Okay. Oh, wait. Because I can't put them on yet until I finish the writing so I'm just going to edit that part of the video out. Hey you guys, so I'm putting these rhinestones along my wing. I got these rhinestones from Walmart for like 97 cents. I'll be shopping everywhere for little little accessories and stuff anywhere I can find them. But anyway, um, I'm just applying it with my lash glue. And I did about five or six little ones, like starting in my corner and working my way out. Then once I got to like a little bit of the broader section of my wing, I put three mid-sized gems. And then I finished the rest of the wing out with, with the three smaller ones. my building um washer go off like who in the hell is washing clothes right now like do they not know oh they about to have that look they about to be washing clothes all year oh yeah i mean you kind of got to wash clothes all year anyway but it's gonna be an abundance of clothing
to go in with those lashes from Lash Capade. And uh, my lashes that I'm gonna use from Lash Capade. And these are in the style good form, cause you do good form, good form. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the glue right on my lash line. This, this is um, a Zor Glam Unicorn Glitter Oil Serum, uh, which somebody bought this for me. One of my friends bought this for me, uh, and I don't know. I just like it. I like this under my primer. It, it, it moisturizes and it gives you like a glow, but not like a oily glow. This a nice, and it like creates a nice little tacky base too. I feel like I know I didn't, cause my eyebrow was like perfect, but I just messed up my eyebrow, y'all. Okay, I got feel better about myself now. Okay. Number number. Now I'm carefully. to apply my Elmis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. <laughs> now hold on. Let me read. Read the box. Let's read. Oh no, I dropped in my mirror. Oh my god, I don't care how fat I am when I do that. Okay. So, it says, Defined by nature and led by science. A priming moisturizer that leaves skin with a dewy, hydrating glow. Hmm. Well, let's see if it makes me dewy and hydrated glow. Do not be like me and put a whole big old thing on. Oh my god, especially if you're already like. Kind of some people are like, they don't like the dewy look, they don't like to look shiny. I feel like I'm about to be extra shiny. Yeah. Conceal, conceal, conceal. 
can see oh that's what i'm about to do i'm about to consume my life away as soon as i find my concealer where did i put it I'm just gonna take my concealer. I just want to say this. And I'm going to cover up all of my dark spots. I'm canceling out all my exes. See me go in with concealer twice. I do concealer under and over my foundation. Now the under, I kind of do it pretty much my skin color. It's like my skin color of in a foundation. I mean in the concealer. Um, but I'm just doing that to cover up my dark spots in my skin even tone before applying. I use concealer after my foundation. Will be for those spots that I want to brighten, like under my eye. Okay, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and press that. Once I do that, now I'm going to actually go in with my foundation. Uh -huh. And let's see which one I'm going to use. Today. I'm going to go ahead and use my MYX Stay Matte But Not Flat liquid foundation. And this one is in the shade Coco. This one is running low, low. So pull out a back up here in case this one decides to quit on me. Little bit more life in you. Just a little bit more life. Oh, yes. Give me the end of your life. Okay. Once, once again, I'm going with my beauty blender. Which, normally, guys, I do this with my brush, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to use the beauty blender. I did wet this earlier, so it's still slightly damp. Be very careful near my eyebrow. Do not want any more happy little accidents. definitely say that I feel very glowy but I like the glow though I'm feeling the glow so now lighter concealer so that okay. and 
I'm going to use this Revlon Conceal and Define Concealer Full Coverage. And um, this is the shade C13. y'all just like but just trust the process people trust the process bake the sides of my face but I don't pre hype them because I feel like that area you can really um if you're not careful it could just it could go from it can go from good to not so good very quickly um so okay so now that that is in there I'm going to as my I'm still gonna take that same beauty blender that has my other that still has some foundation on it so that's actually going to help me blend Disastrous. 
put a little bit on the back of my hands, back on the sides of my nose. out with that beauty blender and I have my Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder and this is in the shade 35 e. To this and I'm just gonna put this everywhere that I highlighted I'm just gonna press this into my skin we're going to bake my people and brighten I like the bright under eye look so you don't have to go in the powder as much as me if that's not really your cup of tea. Bacon, 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 bacon with bacon. Want to look like a rich Beverly Hills housewife? Facelift me, please. Take me a nice large flavor brush. Generally, I do not bronze, but again, for the sake of this, we're just going to do this. Um, 
so scared that I'm about to like, I don't know. Okay, I guess not. So, oh, just so you guys know, I'm using, I don't know, they don't have shade me, so this is what I'm using just to bring a little bit of color back to my face. going to blush. I'm going to use this. <sighs> what am I getting myself into? We shall see. We shall see. Oh, wait. The my life now I'm going to use this top and middle shape Second job as a glaze donut, you could really skip this step. But me, I want to see, I want to be seen from the furthest galaxy. So, little glaze donut, it should be. But I can't speak. Um, and the shade Hannon. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Are you gonna focus? Come on, come on. Okay, it's not focused. I give up. Um, anyway, it's the lipstick that I will be using.
it is such a pretty fucking color lipstick like it's so beautiful to me can't you see I am looking quite bomb if I do say so myself, sweetie. If I can say that, I can say that. I may say that. I look bomb. Um, <laughs> this really this lipstick for me. Like this lip is. <laughs> oh my god, this lip is like. Um. Okay, so I'm just applying two larger rhinestones to the inner corner of my eye. Now, I'm going to take some black eyeliner and I'm going to line my lower lash line. with this mirror. Rhinestones on my bottom lash line. But not as many. Yeah, I really am. I'm definitely feeling like. Oh my god, y'all, y'all, y'all be for this. Like, like y'all see my skin, honey? I'm glowing. I'm glowing from the inside out. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's, it's great. corner piece that I cut off of my lash earlier. I'm gonna take that and put one single bottom lash on each eye. I'm like extra sitting at the table asking for extra. And anytime that y'all see me with bottom lashes, they are a pair of cut up lashes. I'm gonna do is take off. Um, I don't even be old pairs of lashes for me. I am just addicted to my 25 mm's. So. And that is going to complete our look today, you guys. Thank you for watching. I watched me hit my different angles and, you know, feel myself like I speed a win. <laughs> 
and thank you guys so much for your continuous support i hope everybody has liked and subscribed hit that bell you know get the notifications when i go on next time y'all